Let's take a look at Google Docs presentation this time. I'm going to go uh, to Create New. I'm already logged into my Google Docs account. I'm looking at the dashboard up here, Create New. Go down to Presentation and it'll immediately open up a new presentation for me. If you're a PowerPoint user, will look familiar to you. The format is uh, similar. Uh, same with Keynote, a little bit. I've got my slide in the center and then um, uh, toolbar with uh, all of my slides on the left side. Um, if you're someone who likes to use the speaker notes, you may want to turn that on first. Just go to View and say Show Speaker Notes and it'll show up on the left side. And then, just like PowerPoint, you just click, type in your text, insert images, drawings, videos, tables, shapes, uh, just like you can in PowerPoint. There are a few custom themes that you can use. I'm going to go to presentation uh, format, presentation settings, then change theme, and this is what you have to choose from. It's fairly limited, not a whole lot there. Choose a chalkboard, and uh, if you want to add a new slide, you just click right here. Choose your format again very much like PowerPoint when you're all done and you're ready to um, share this with uh, a specific audience or the world you're going to go over to the right side here say share publish and embed and the first thing you do is publish the document and then you'll receive uh, some other options if you want to embed this on a website such as your blog or wiki you can do that by pasting the iframe code here um, into the appropriate place on your website. You can choose the size, small, medium, or large, and then if you want it to uh, automatically scroll, you can set that option as well. Alternately, you can provide a link to the presentation, if you wish, and uh, by clicking on this, this is what people will see right here. I will um, point out something interesting that's kind of hidden that not a lot of people uh, know about, but can be very useful. If you see down here in the bottom, it says View Together. If you click on that, it will bring up a window that allows, uh, it's essentially a, a chat room linked to this presentation. So if you were doing a presentation with a whole bunch of uh, people virtually, they could all be discussing what is on the screen um, simultaneously. This could be an interesting way to encourage class discussion uh, during lectures and be a great option to use in a virtual uh, environment or online classroom. So that's available. This will only appear when you are um, viewing uh, a presentation in, uh, in this manner uh, through a link. It will not work if you're viewing a presentation in an embedded into a, a website. If you want to share this for other people to edit, you can invite people and type their email addresses into here and then choose if you want them to be able to edit or just view and as you add people you'll be able to see there um, who has access and change um, their permissions as needed. Go back to the editor. Um, you can always download this presentation as a PDF or PowerPoint which can be very useful um, it's, it's platform independent, which is really nice. So uh, your Mac users can download it as PDFs. Your uh, PC users can download as PowerPoint. Um, if they want. Fortunately, no Keynote um, compatibility yet. Uh, we'll probably add that at some point. So this is Google Docs presentation. Very useful. And it's a really nice way to share presentations with others.